Satnam, Namaste, welcome, Capricorn. Uh, this is a reading for August 18th. My name is Dadamkar. You can reach me through dadamkar23 at gmail.com. I would love to give a personal reading to you uh, through Skype, and you can pay me through PayPal. That's fine. Uh, if you'd like to make a donation to these videos, you can do so through uh, Patreon. So, um, without further ado, Capricorn, your reading for the full moon in Aquarius, August 18th, 2016. We invoke the god Saturn, all of his manifestations and representations throughout the Earth, the planet Saturn, and its energies. We think of Ea, the part god, goat, uh, part sea fish of the Babylonians, which inspired Capricorn in the West. Ea, who came to the Earth the land to give man wisdom, just as the Vedic sages, a sage in particular, a great deity, gave us astrology in order that sages might provide for themselves and their families. In the same way, Capricorn provides grains, malt, all kinds of corn flour, um, all forms of sustaining nourishment. Willow bark and comfrey, all kinds of calm, soothing, saturnian, timeless comforts. Pine cones, for example, are very, as are cottonwoods, willows. So, this is you, and this is what's crossing you, this is what's on your mind, this is your near past, this is your distant past, this is your hopes for the future, your future issues to deal with. This is your relationship to others and others influencing your lives. This is your environment. This is your feelings at the present moment. And this is your final outcome. So what is our secret meaning for this reading? Secret meaning is the Page of Cups, and it is an young youth messenger. And in this Page of Cups, we have a studious and intent person, reflective, meditative, loyal, willingness to offer services and efforts towards a specific goal, a helpful person, a trustworthy worker. So all of your favorite things. This could be a child of yours. This could also be some workers who are under you, um, any person who is younger than you, who you have offered advice or consolation to recently. Um, your current position is that of the King of Coins reversed. Corruption, using any means to achieve the desired end, vice, avarice, unfaithfulness, an old and vicious man, peril and thriftlessness. So, you're very uncomfortable this summer. You, you feel that a lot is on the line for you right now, and you are being challenged to not only make ends meet, but also just hang in there, have stability. What is crossing you? The Queen of Swords Upright is crossing your path. And she is a very intelligent, wise woman. So that is possibly, if you are a woman, you know how to deal with this issue. If you are a male, you should look to someone with strong feminine energies who could possibly help you at this time. Someone who ha has 
uh, quick wit, and is intensely perceptive, a subtle person, possibly a widow or a woman of sadness, mourning, privation, absence, loneliness, separation, one who has savored great happiness, but who presently knows the anxiety of misfortune and reversal. This speaks of an older woman who has gained great wisdom through her trials and tribulations and can now move on to a better uh, understanding and counseling ability. Uh, in your head, you currently have the magician reversed. The magician is a young Salavic man who sits at a table on which are the symbols of the tarot suits of the swords, cups, and coins. He holds a wand and drops a gold coin into the cup. Above his head is a winged limbless gate, which is the symbol for infinity. The reversed meaning is weakness of will, ineptitude, insecurity, disquiet, delay, uh, the use of one's skills for destructive ends. So you may have be in a job and you don't agree necessarily with the principles of that job, but you know it is irresponsible to leave said job and you are, have come to a conclusion. This woman will help you find a new path. Um, in your recent past, this could be the reason you are hesitant to leave your current position despite your dissatisfaction. This is the five of coins reversed. And the five of coins reversed, actually, is um, reversal of a bad trend, new interest in matters, overcoming ruin, disharmony uh, in love, marriage, or love of in interests. So um, you reversed a trend, you finally got a job, you, you finally found what you're good at, you finally found your life's purpose, you finally, um, you know, your luck is turning for the better, but relationship-wise, uh, you don't know what you're going to do. You feel out of power. Uh, in your distant past, you have the Hierophant in reverse. This could be the reason that you feel disempowered. Uh, the Hierophant in reverse resembles St. Duke Vladimir in this deck. He holds a scepter and a Russian Orthodox cross. In reverse, it means foolish generosity, susceptibility, impotence, vulnerability, frailty, unorthodoxy, and renunciation. So, you may have tried to have a relationship, wanted a relationship so badly that it was with the wrong person. Or you may have wanted a positive business relationship so badly that you ended up having a bad business partner. And this, while, while you've gotten over this trouble uh, in your life, in your base chakra of just basic wants and needs, um, you still find that you are separate, you, you long for emotional sustenance. Um, now, in your future hopes, wishes, dreams, oops, and present, present, um, coming future influence is Eight of Clubs. And the Eight of Clubs is swift activity, sudden progress or movement, speed, hastily made decisions, too rapid of an advancement. Mm. So try not to be impetuous. This would suggest it, it doesn't matter if your thoughts are disorganized and you're lonely. Try not to be impetuous at this time because you've worked hard to get where you are and have what you have and a messenger, a young messenger is coming. Uh, at your base, in terms of your relationship with others, their relationship with you and their influence at this time. Two of clubs. Two of clubs. Yes. Mature individual, ruler, attainment of goals and needs, boldness, courage and undertakings, a dominant personality, 
you have no concern right now. This is you standing in your truth. Aha, uh -huh. above you in your environment you have strength. You have no need to fear, you are on solid ground. Um, with regard to the strength card in this deck, it says, the quality of gentle strength is symbolized by a woman who tames a lion with one hand and holds flowers in another. In the background is a windmill. Uh, the meanings are strength, courage, conviction. You are self-created, you have energy, you have defiance, action, confidence, zeal, matter over mind, and mind over matter. So progress, progress forward steadily. Your feelings internally at this point is a nine of coins. You know that success is coming, that it is only a matter of time, and you will have all that you want and more. Now, in your final deliberation, you have the Ten of Swords. And the Ten of Swords is a final, a sadness card, but it can warn you. It means ruin, pain, affliction, anguish, desolation, misfortune, and disappointment. However, what I recommend, you have these three wonderful cards leading up to that one. And all you need to do is have strength and courage. Keep this nine of coins in your sights and ha take this action of the two of clubs and you can have this page of cups, which is a completely new rebirth in a sense. And you know that being in nature is part of your truth. You know that standing for justice is the right thing to do, regardless of what it might cost you. And this is someone who does not have to sacrifice. You do not have to choose between nature and money. You do not have to choose between uh, your own strength and your own personality and being with someone else. And you do not have to choose um, to be a leader. You already are. So Capricorns, I hope that this reading has given you insight and inspiration. It has been my pleasure to read for you today. My name is Dudham Carr, and you can reach me at Dudham Carr at 23 at gmail.com. You can also make a donation through Patreon. You can also uh, book a private reading via that Gmail account and pay through PayPal. I will happily meet you on Skype. So, um, I hope you have a wonderful day until we see each other next. Namaste, Satnam, and many blessings. God bless. Take care.